Yeah, took us a little bit to get back to watching these. I feel like it's been forever, but it's only been like a week. Yeah, and, and uh, just a little bit over a week because I remember <laughs> we planned to watch that. We we watched this Thursday of last week, and, and then and it's we were just, Sunday to put that in perspective. Like, well, yeah, it's been just over two to three days since that Thursday, or that since we were supposed to watch it. We were, we were planning to watch it. Exactly one week later. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, we can't do this day. So instead, uh, and here's the unbelievable thing about it. I'd planned to do a double deck, a double set of recording that day, recording with you early on, Mm -hmm. and then later on recording with Chad. You had to, we had to change things up because. You got locked out of your apartment. Yes. And I had to come and help you out with that. And then once everything was all said and done, we both just decided, you know what? Let's move this to We Sunday. didn't have enough time to finish, and I guess neither one of us wanted to start it and not finish it. Yeah. So. And, and especially considering I didn't want to interrupt your movie going because you were going to watch saw Demon, Demon Slayer. Slayer movie. Yeah. Thoughts? Oh, it was so fucking good. Um, I always feel like I get more into the movies than the actual show for some reason. And that's fair. Like, I did the same thing with, I can't remember what it's called, Heroes Rising or Rising Heroes, whatever. Heroes Rising with uh, uh, My Hero Academia. I, that's the only, that was the first My Hero Academia I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm trying to watch the show, but the show fucking sucks in comparison. Oh, no, come on. Well, okay, well, season one, give me it. Okay, like, <laughs> I will give you season one. Once they get into the tournament arc of season two, no turning back. Because the arcs only get better as it goes forward. I'm having a rough start trying to get into the show, but that movie was awesome. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the Demon Slayer movie was also really good. It was. It was. Tremendous. It was really neat. It was, there was some cool stuff in it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else I can talk about it. So. I, it it's fine. I, I don't want to. Me and Nick both watched it, and I refuse to go into spoiler discussion about it because I think anyone out there who is an anime fan, if you are not even aware of the show, just check it out because of just the animation the story, the characters. Yeah, they it's... said you couldn't see it without seeing the show, but I really feel like if you had the general idea of like the first two or three episodes of the show, you could watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, especially like, with Tanjiro's story and everything. Once you like know the... what happened to the main dude and like that, the rest is kind of self-explanatory, I feel like. Yes. I, I mean, the show didn't really have that much plot building. It was like training. Okay, here's some people. Training. Uh, okay, now movie. So. Yeah, basically. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like you could watch it. And you definitely I should. I think you could, too. You definitely should. Oh, I, I agree. It was it was very good. <laughs> I <laughs> but, agree. Very, very good. Yeah, Nate helped me out and did a good deed on Thursday. Helped me get into my house and didn't make me feel like an absolute shithole about it. So. No. I, I, well, it's <laughs> like I explained to Quinn. I mean, I've locked myself out of my house multiple times. I got locked out of this house and had to basically, like scrounge around for enough clothes to wear i i came out in my towel because i wanted i was i was thirsty and i wanted to get a drink and we had a spare fridge out you told me about this and i went around the garage looking for anything i could wear to go out and walk around doors and knock on doors just so i could call someone to come open the door for me and it was like five to six houses before someone would even like <laughs> i got to the first house down here and i knocked on the door and i asked if i could just use the phone i like i'll stand outside i don't have to come inside instead the one was just like uh, i was like excuse me miss i've got locked out of my home can i borrow your phone like i'll stand out here i just need to call someone to come up here and unlock the door for me and she's just like uh, no, no, I'm I'm sorry, but I I I, I can't. No, no, and I'm like, ma'am, I I am I, I, I will understand. Like this is a very weird situation, but I am literally locked out of my home, and she's like, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but no, no, no. She's like Lumberg from fucking Office Space, and I'm just <laughs> like, Jesus, okay, like all right, whatever. You don't want like you don't want to pass me your phone. Like 
I'm asking you to pass me like your cordless phone because I saw she had one there on her little stand, like a little uh, like yeah. candle stand that she had by her door. Back then, people had home phones. <sighs> Some people still do nowadays. It's weird. My mom does. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a it's a generational thing. But eventually, I got to someone who was like working on a car out in the driveway, and I'm just like, "Hey, man, can I borrow your cell phone for just a minute so that I can call someone?" And then I called up my stepdad. He came here and unlocked the door. And I'm just... What I was wearing was not the best. It was like these... I'm not going to say Daisy Dukes because they didn't go all the way up. But they were like up to like mid... Like <laughs> like middle of my thigh. And then I had a shirt on that was... It was basically... You know those super redneck like like crop tops... They got, like, the entire side that's, like, down, like, cut down. Yeah. Like, on both sides. So, it's basically just, like, a horse blanket that you throw over yourself. Yeah. That's basically what the shirt I was wearing. And imagine a dude as big as me yeah, walking I wouldn't, up on you. I mean, you. I wouldn't have fucking let you use my phone. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have opened the door in the first place, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> They're like, nah. But eventually I just... I found someone who was cool enough to let me borrow that, and then everything was all good. Yeah, so in the last week and a couple of days, I have gotten locked out of my apartment, moved into the apartment, and this, it was... Just, I had only lived there for, like, three days when I, when I did this. Um, it, it happens. I've killed, like, 12 wolf spiders. Oof. Um, I caught a mouse... I'm I'm convinced this apartment has a hole in it somewhere at this point. Probably. Um, apparently, I am the first person in 12 years to report that I have found a mouse to property manager. So, lucky me, I guess. <laughs> I, I have sprayed so much of that indoor, like, the white thing that you can get with the spray on the side that yeah. that brand yeah, yeah, yeah. of that spray like all over all my baseboards i mean i fucking drowned them like multiple times if there's a crack it's in there Damn. um and then they had someone come out and spray the outside and down a window well and everything and i'm still finding spiders so jesus at this point i'm scared for my life uh, well <laughs> wolf spiders aren't poisonous they're not and, venomous. Oh, they're not. Yeah, they're not venomous. Rather, but sorry. they will hurt if they bite you, and they are a little aggressive. So, yeah. Uh, well, the, at least here's the one thing about wolf spiders: if there's other spiders in there, it will hunt them. Well, the only comfort I have, the only reason I can sleep at night, is knowing that wolf spiders don't climb walls, and so they're probably not in my bed. Yeah, they just you just got to watch like corners on the floor, just like hmm. I literally won't, like, step through my house every morning until I look at the floor first. Okay. Because I'm not going to step in one of those motherfuckers. It wouldn't It wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm having a time. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, let's see if we can make it a better time uh, with some Castlevania. I feel like my current mood is Trevor. I think that's everyone. I think everyone is literally emotionally evolving into Trevor very slowly because... Alucard is becoming, you know, yeah. he like he was hopeful about helping humanity. Now he's becoming more cynical, and he's also not showering or anything as much. And he's just like, my God, I'm turning into Belmont. And then Sypha as well. She's basically turning into a, you know, had him in the mouth of a sailor. And I'm like, Trevor. It's like you, you can definitely tell that Trevor is rubbing off on both of them. Do you think that they're going to have children? Not get, obviously they're not because like there's only five episodes left and they're I, not doing this anymore. But do you think in Castlevania world that they have children? In the lore, yes. They did? In the, in the video game lore, yes they did. And their ancestors are the ones who come back in the later games. That's that because I know that, uh, you know, the Belmont clan is the one that has it's not until new dawn where the lore changes up just a little bit and allows a allows someone who is not a belmont but that's a whole new thing whenever new dawn happens 
Well, now we have to watch these so I can go home and play Castlevania. So, because <laughs> now I'm in the mood. Yeah, and I'm Cat- never in the mood to play Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania! Like you, like some of the good ones. I mean, Dawn of Sorrow, uh, Lament of Innocence, and then uh, I know people say Circle of the Moon's not a good one, but it's a great one. I love Circle of the Moon. Plus, it also helps that the lead character in that one's named Nathaniel, and I'm just like, all right, good name, good name. <laughs> oh, is that? Yes. In Circle <laughs> of the Moon, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just like uh, Crimson Skies. Me and Zach, my cousin Zach, you know, you know him. I know it, Zach, yeah. yeah. Me and him, we got Crimson Do- or you know, uh, Crimson Skies, and we were both just like, oh man, this looks cool. A plane combat game on the Xbox? We started up, the lead character's name is literally Nathan Zachary. I kid you not. His his name in the game is Nathaniel Zachary. And I'm like, Zach, this game was meant for us, man. This game was like, we were meant to play this together. And he's just like, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> I love Zach so much. He's, he's literally Zach's like my brother. Dude. Huh? Zach's a good dude. Yeah, he's like, my little, he's like my little brother. Always has been. Anyway, Castlevania. I wonder how Mike is doing right now with all this crypto shit going on. Uh, I guarantee he's he's both loving it and hating it. I should message him and be like, what do you think about Dogecoin? And just wait for the wall of text that comes back. Like, <laughs> that would be so <laughs> funny. You know he has a strong opinion. Very strong. <laughs> Very strong opinion. Holy crap. Saw it the last episode. He was looking to... Start an assault. Here we go. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn, that's a lot of night creatures. Raw numbers alone. Holy shit. I wonder if he's still gonna fucking kill uh, Actor. I would say so. I would say so, because... Revenge is one thing that's on his mind. I, if if it is still, he on was his mind. seeming to get a little bit softer. I think. I think so, but one of his still one of his primary objectives. Oh, that's cool. oh yeah. Here we go. Oh. Man, these night creatures are fucking balling. Greeting. It's nice. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Didn't even need to use the sword. I was gonna say, these night creatures are making most of the vampires look like bitches. I mean, if these are true vampires, I mean, like, real deal vampires, you would expect them to at least be able to handle the night creatures no problem. But I guess the surprise attack from Hector was just overwhelming. And numbers. Right. I I guess. I don't know. Well, they were pretty unprepared. Yeah. I don't have much time. Oh. The calculations look correct. Shit. But you want a second gating mark to control the flow. And don't trust Barney. Good luck. If you'll excuse me. I have to take care of that. I have to go and get killed now. The mirror? I got it from one of the mad vampire wizards you keep in the dungeons. This doesn't feel like that. Maybe I've gone sane. Mm. Wow, he's finally and being not useless. And now he's going to die. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, he might surprise us, but I feel like Isaac normally... If 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 we know everything we should know right now would win. No, well, he's able to beat vampires on his own. So handle and Hector has Why been shown. Why is he doing Huh? Why is he doing that? One of Camilla's ruling council. Oh, because to kill me, kill me, but leave her alone. She is not the threat here. See, he's gotten a little softer. Fair. He would have killed her anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, given how he was at the end of the second season. 
I am not here to kill you. Shit. What? Can I borrow your knife? <laughs> um. Okay. A lot of trust for someone that you just now got back with. <laughs> oh! Um, I guess that would work. Damn! Cauterize the wound. Huh. I guess it means he can... He's finally free. I guess. Oh. I just cut off Carmilla's command and control of the night creatures. I guess he could have just done that at any time, but... Well, I think <laughs> he needed... Oh. He was waiting, but... Yeah. He literally could have just walked around it. He could have. I don't know. Like... He could have, but I think... <laughs> I don't really know what to do next. <laughs> He's like, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> like, I thought I'd be dead. But I'm not. Yeah, those little coins he placed throughout the castle. Ooh! Interesting. It's like fast travel. Oh, it traps her as well. Oh, boy. Oh. She's killed so many, it's literally filling the floor with blood. I'm so excited for this bitch to die. Damn. Well, she's a tough bitch. But I think even she's getting a... Oh my god, the imagery, I love that. The staircase of crimson just ascending it. Here we go. I really thought it was going to cut the episode for some reason. Mm. Piece by piece, they will take her down. Oh! Fighting. I am Camilla Asturia and fuck you. I win. I got back just a bit too late. Did you feel that too? I think you'd see it too, because it's kind of a big boom. If I lost the finger on my left hand, I probably wouldn't be as upset. Right. Right hand. Like, that's <laughs> because I'm predominantly right handed. Well, you survived the explosion. I was wondering. That was a big bang. That was pretty big. <laughs> but that one night creature had kind of shielded Where's him. Where's your so. vampire friend? This structure has a basement. She's down there for the moment. Do you know, I've even been talking to other people. Actual living people. Well, <laughs> I'm interested in building a way to live. And I think I will start here. He lived in one long night and never the future. I think perhaps he earned his rest. 
I will instead build something new on all these old bones. Something where people can live for a future. I'm going to live. Hmm. Can't relate. <sighs> I can and I can't because on one hand it's just like I'm going to live. And Fuck. Then, and then yeah, that's that's the thing. It's just like when you realize where you're living in your lot in life, you're just like Fuck. Um I, I can't when... resurrect creatures and make them do my bidding. That's I can't resurrect creatures and make them do my bidding like Isaac or Hector. Instead I'm just me. Now I'm being reminded of at some point during the Demon Slayer movie, it gave me an existential crisis. Really? Uh, it had like a little spiel about like what human life is at some point, and it like made me sink into like dissociation. And I was like, "The movie's about to end. You can't do this now." Like, and I had to come out of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, "You can't. This is the wrong time to start dissociating." <laughs> Because like it was like right I the, there. I know the part you're talking yeah. about. I know the part, and it's just like yeah. Uh, it really like made me uh, sink back a little bit, and I was just like, ooh. <laughs> that part got me and Nick bad. I remember that part. Oh, uh, me and was... Nick were both just like, damn, man. Everyone told me to take tissues, but for me, it wasn't the part that they were referring to that made me cry. It was like more towards like beginning to mid movie no, i know the part you're yeah, talking about there that made me well that part got me a little bit the empathy for it really is what got me more well i mean yeah when you think about everything it's just like damn it'd be so easy to just do that because yeah it, you think it's just like it'd just be so easy to do that but it wouldn't be real that movie has a lot of things that really make you think like it does i highly recommend that movie if you like to think about things i agree um it's or if you want to like be thinking about like what ifs or like just really cool concepts that you could really dig into and pick apart it has a lot of that yes um that is really cool the like, i don't know if that's a spoiler it th there's a really cool uh really cool the the villain is yes. really fucking cool oh yeah yeah yeah. i think the whole super concept cool. surrounding the villain is really cool yes it's um, super well done you, you gotta watch that movie yes. you, if you literally have never seen anime before i still recommend it <laughs> yeah i would too i i would recommend it it's a good start <laughs> i mean i would definitely look into the other the season one before i want to watch it first but uh well, you're glad. You're at least glad you checked out season. You one could literally watching. look at the wiki and read the general plot of season one, and then go see that movie. I feel like I think you could watch the first two, three episodes. Yeah, like what I said earlier. Yeah, I, I mean, it really, really, the Demon Slayer season isn't plot building the whole time. It really is like an initial setup. So it is. Um, and I'm really excited for the next season now, though. Oh, me too. Super. Hmm. <sighs> Super duper excited. <laughs> I, I can't wait. So, all right. This was... <laughs> anyway, Castlevania. Yeah, anyway. Castlevania. This is season four, episode <laughs> six. You don't deserve my blood. Uh, ding dong. The bitch is dead. Thank fucking God. <laughs> I hope they don't bring her back. I don't think they will. I don't <laughs> think she'd want to come back. I think she'd literally just be like, nah, I'm good. I've already done enough seen enough and had enough done to me i'm good i'm just gonna i don't know see i think i think dracula might not want to come back because he you know he's happily with the he's, of his life yeah so, but carmilla, carmilla i'm fucking might because now she all she's gonna think about is killing isaac yeah uh, that's so, that's one thing i don't know so if isaac's still alive she'd be like hell yeah i'm in but but it again we'll we'll have to see but all right, that's gonna. I wonder do what's it. gonna happen next. I don't know. Oh. There's still the plot line of Dracula's potential resurrection with uh, Saint Germain and uh, Varney and all of them working together. I mean, it seems like Sypha and Trevor's plot line has been pretty quiet. Like it has been the last couple episodes. And also, there's uh, there's the there's Alucard and uh, the Dynasty clan. 
also uh, relatively quiet. I mean, <laughs> well, no, we had that last episode. We got we I saw guess. them getting to the castle. Uh, we saw them getting to uh, Alucard's castle finally after the long trudge through the dark of the forest. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how that pans out. But for right now, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This was episode six, You Don't Deserve My Blood, of season four of Castlevania. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Quinn. We'll see you then. Peace out.